Game started. Uh, Mighty Q. No, no. Mighty Q. How about a Sicilian? Okay, the old D6 line. Ah, the C3 Sicilian. Uh, but he's also played Knight F3. There are various tricks here. For example, um, if you attack the pawn and he doesn't bother to defend it, he can't take it anyway because it's, it's actually defended by the queen check. Well, he just plays the bishop check. That's okay. Check. better to take with the queen so the knight has uh, this square instead of uh, being on d7 where it's not as useful and just go for uh, fianchetto with the bishop um, white does not normally give up the bishop like that but uh, it does cause me to waste a move here so maybe there's some some reason to it now that knight can hop into <clears throat> b5 or c4, um, but there's not an immediate threat of uh, knight to uh, c7, so I don't. Uh, and he goes to c2 anyway. Yeah, so I didn't want to waste a move on um, on a6 there, keeping him out of b5 if he wasn't going to play that anyway. So. What can I do? Well, the rook belongs on the C file. Maybe just push ahead with the C pawn. Knight to uh, E4, E5, Knight E5. Or I could play, um, yeah, he's setting up for this push to um, e5 himself. e5, I take. He takes. I take. Yeah, so I, I'm still stopping that. But if I were to play um, d5, he could play e5 because he's got two defenders on it. Let's drop the bishop back. I think I want to play d5 and just um, grab a little more space in the center. which I can do now. And maybe put a rook on the E file there, pinning that knight. Threatening uh, D4. Uh, so he gets out of the pen. You saw that. That's a good. Um, d4 might be a good move anyway, though. Grab some space, and where does the knight go to? And the knight could go to d5. And then from there, it's hitting these dark squares. Let's put the rook there first, and then play uh, d4. Let's just take away the square d5 from the knight. So he goes there. Now if I play uh, f4, where's the knight going? Here, here, here. Can't go anywhere. Except back. He was threatening to come into f6 and force a trade of the uh, bishop, which I didn't want to give up, because. Uh, but I would have to trade it because it's forking the uh, king and the queen. So I think there's no move but knight um, <coughs> knight back to e3. I take it there, I take it there, I take it there. The other squares are uh, blocked. Unless he has some tricky check or something. But this is pretty well guarded.
Yeah, I don't know what he's thinking about here. Okay, it goes back. So anyway, my plan was to kick um, with uh, d5. Uh, is that really the best plan, though? Um, he can go to... Um, he can go to the square uh, c4. And from c4, he's looking out on these dark squares. Here, here, here. Maybe that's harmless. I can just uh, punt it again with um, <coughs> b5 if he goes to c4. Let's see, I was planning to take back with a pawn, but I suppose I should think about taking with the bishop briefly. Yeah, the pawn gets, gains another square and forces the knight to move again. Now, I can play b5 if I want the knight to move, but um, well, I could just leave the knight there. He's not threatening anything just yet. See, so I would like to go after this pawn <coughs> on d3. Hmm. How to get pressure? I, I can play knight to b4, but he can just kick it. I can go to c2, but then uh, where do I go from there? Okay, maybe I just double on the um, e file. Oh, oh, I don't want to give up this square, though. So I guess, um, let's kick the knight first. I don't want the knight dropping in here. So these squares are covered. He could go out to uh, a5, or he could go to d2, a5, okay. So a5 looks out on these light squares. So he could come in here and harass the rook. Somewhat annoyingly. Okay, so maybe my rook belongs back over here. Rip to uh, C2 is an idea. Get some bank rank stuff going. And if he pushes these pawns forward, <clears throat> then I can go after the um, D pawn that I wanted to target earlier. Uh -huh. Okay, so now he can drop into the square here, hitting my queen and threatening these light squares here, here. Okay, but I can grab a pawn. So that seems worthwhile. Now I have to move my queen. sure his knight doesn't have any dangerous attacks. If he trades queens, I don't mind being a pawn up, and uh, my knight is attacking <clears throat> b4, and then, then I'll go after e3, so should be good. So he should move his queen away. Check. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't listen to my advice. He can play knight. Uh, no, he can't. He can't defend this pawn, and this he chose to defend. Yeah, he could have defended this pawn with the rook. Okay, so now, what have I got? 
I should just start advancing these pawns, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's defended. I just wonder where my rook is going. Well, I'll play this for now. If this knight moves, I can grab the e-pawn. This pawn is defended. Okay, he's going to take the bishop if uh, I let him, and I, I will let him at this point. The bishop is um, not so important. We just get a massive exchange, say knight, rook takes, rook takes, knight takes. Or he could be intending to take this pawn. And then he grabs the pawn. So I'm a knight, I'm two pawns up in a knight endgame. And this should be uh, winning. It's nice that they're connected past pawns, plus the uh, rook pawn is notoriously difficult uh, for a knight to defend against. So it really his only move is to grab the e-pawn and hope to come over here and slow these guys down, but I'm just going to march them through. I might bring my king over too combination of the king and the knight can stop those pawns um, if they're not faster than the king. I guess that's what I should calculate. Knight takes, pawn here, knight here, pawn here, that pawns there and there, then he starts moving the king in, pawn here, and the king is too far away. Yeah, so it looks like simply advancing should win. So here, one, two, three. That's a little tricky. Four, five, six, seven, maybe seven moves to march them all the way down. And he's going to play one, two, and then he's just going to sit there. Three, four, five, six. So that king could get in the neighborhood. White forfeits due to disconnection. Okay, well, that's that's one way to <laughs> quit. Um, but yeah, this is a easily winning position, so I'll check it out with the uh, postmortem and see you guys later. Bye.